The running horse has been part of nearly every Mustang for over 50 years. On the 1999 to 2004 Mustangs, often called the New Edge cars, the GT and V6 featured the familiar pony in a chrome corral with a honeycomb grille reminiscent of the 1965 Mustangs. It wasn't until 2003 when Ford released the limited edition Mach 1 that the front end took on a new look. Gone was the honeycomb and the corral. The running horse was now freely floating in the grill area. My 1999 Mustang GT currently has a completely stock front end and I will be installing the Mach 1 grill. The tools you need for this are a Phillips head screwdriver, a 7mm socket and ratchet or combination wrench, a drill, and a few drill bits. The first thing that you must do is pop the hood. At the upper part of the grill, there are six retaining clips. These are two-part clips with a Phillips head screw going into a washer-like clip. Remove the screws and pull out the clips. To make the job easier, I will remove the headlights. This helps to access the four 7mm headed bolts that retain the OEM honeycomb grill to the bumper cover. I also chose to remove the radiator cover to access all of the bolts and clean underneath. They bolt in from the bottom, so my advice is to be patient and very careful. They are kind of tough to access, but it is doable. I was able to remove them with a short combination wrench. The grill is now able to be removed. Take this opportunity to clean and even wax underneath. You probably won't get another chance to do this. Now it's time to examine the OEM grill frame. Remember that this will no longer be hidden. So if yours is dirty, clean it. If it is faded, take it out, give it a fresh coat of black paint. Let's install the running horse. I put some blue painters tape and marked exactly where the tab would be so I have an idea of where I need to drill. Work slowly here. You can always cut more of the frame away, but if you cut too much, you're not going to be able to put it back. So measure twice, drill once. Now it's time to install the bottom lip. Looking at the bottom lip, you can see there are two locating tabs that slide around the bumper cover from the back. Install the lip onto the stock bumper cover until it is fully engaged and it covers the mounting holes from the OEM grill. Then install two of the retaining clips that you removed at the top of the lip where it connects to your bumper cover. Finally, we can install the running horse. The tab at the back of the pony clicks into the hole into the retaining frame that you made earlier. Then use two screws to retain the pony to the OEM grill frame. Now it's time to replace the headlights and reinstall that radiator guard that you removed earlier. Give it all a once over before closing the hood. You're all done. Enjoy the new look that your pony has now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section down below and I'll do my very best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a few months since I made this video and I think it's time for an update. One day I was outside washing my car and I noticed that the Mach 1 grill was moving around a little more than normal. So I removed the two top plastic retainers and I found that the bottom clips, which sandwich the front bumper cover, had separated from the main grill. Now I've come to learn that these are simply glued on. So at some point, the glue just let go. So when I found this out, I gave American Muscle a call and they told me that I was outside the warranty period, which I understand, and they told me that I could try some epoxy, but the fact remains that their design is a poor one. Knowing that, as I do now, I cannot recommend the American Muscle Kit. Instead, I would recommend you go to a place like Late Model Restoration or CJ Pony Parts, as both of them use a kit that is more in line with the OEM Mach 1 grill insert. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.